With golf, one of my favorite things is you can't beat the game, but you never have the same shot over once again. And I think that's the, you know, the biggest thing is getting over the previous shot that you've hit and then playing as well as you can with the uh, challenge that you're presented. My name is Thomas Campbell, and my goal is to play in the PGA Championship in 2022. So right now I juggle a lot of things. Um, I'm a dad. <laughs> so Nairi is uh, four months old when, as we're shooting this vid this video, she was born in uh, in June 2021. Um, so it's been the you know a, a highlight for sure of, of my life. What's that big box looking at you? I mean, the, the day Nairi was born, uh, you ne never forget that day being in, in the hospital and and this. Just the whole, the whole experience of, of birth for sure was amazing and it was, it was so emotional and it just it, yeah it, your life changes for sure. You're just showing up to the camera. Yeah. Are you kind of shy? My wife is from Matamide, Minnesota, so she played soccer at the University of Minnesota and we met in, in college at a college party as you kind of do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she, she's a very, very driven athlete as well. So I really like that, like that about her. And uh, being a very good sport athlete, she drove, drove me pretty hard as well. I started playing golf, I believe it was my 12th birthday. Um, I was handed some golf clubs from my, uh, my uncle um, when I was 11. And my, my dad had noticed me to kind of some chipping some balls around the backyard. and. He, it seemed that I'd shown an interest in the game. So, no family history at all. My parents didn't play at all, um, but he wanted to take me out of the golf course for my 12th birthday, and uh, it was a lot of fun. All I'd had was a, a wooden driver. I think it was like a one and a half wood, a five iron, a wedge, and a putter. But it was, yeah, I still remember that day. It was beautiful golf course, Lynx, Lynx style golf course, and I was kind of a natural at it. I played soccer, played cricket in, in New Zealand, um, played rugby, then got a couple of concussions and played anymore. But yeah, played, I played you know, cross-country runner as well. But I think I just realized that you know, golf was um, taking over my cricket stroke a little bit. <laughs> they kind of interfered with each other a little bit, so I had to pick one. And um, I could definitely kind of notice Pretty quickly, I was, I was picking up the sport really, really fast. Um, I wanted to be there all the time. My dad would pick me up from school and drop me off at the golf course, and my mom would pick me up on her way home from work. And they could they could see that I just wanted to be there all the time. So I think that was that was where we kind of noticed that yeah, the golf is probably the thing. My parents still live in New Zealand. I actually haven't seen them in two, three years now. Just COVID has been very, very hard. My mom plays a little bit casually. She noticed I showed an interest, so she started to show an interest for, sh for sure. Um, so she could kind of understand what my dreams are. My dad is a athlete himself. Um, he had a work injury where he can't really, it hurts for him to, to swing the golf club, kind of jars his back a little bit. Um, but he was a marathon runner, very, very driven athlete himself. And I think that's kind of where I get it from for sure is very driven, very motivated to achieve his dreams and I'm very motivated to achieve my dreams. I've had a very successful career in New Zealand as a junior. I was in the New Zealand junior team. I was on the New Zealand national squad. And um, I could see that to really become a better golfer, I just noticed that competition wise, I needed some higher competition. So a lot of college golfers out, of, out of, in the US, they turn professional and they play on the PGA Tour. And my ultimate dream is to play on the PGA Tour. So I got recruited to play golf at the University of Minnesota. I went to University of New Zealand for a couple of years, and then I came over to uh, University of Minnesota when I was 20. It was a shock to the system, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was not expecting it to be as cold as it was. Um, so it was an adjustment for sure, um, adjusting to the, the climate. 
practicing inside, using the inside months as a time to work on technique rather than just play, 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 play all year. Um, but I had a good career. Um, I didn't really have an amazing college career. It was just a, a solid career. And then once I turned professional, my career really started to kind of take off. Uh, making it to the PGA Championship uh, will be so huge for me and, and my family, not only just the fact that I, I know I can, can do it, but I, I don't want to just make it. I want to try and compete against the top golfers in the world. I know on a good week, I, I definitely can. Um, and I know if everything mentally, physically is, is working, I don't, I don't just want to try and just make the cut. I would love to try to you know, compete and pursue my career um, playing professionally. It's a di little different route. You know, I've spent years chasing Monday qualifiers, doing Q school and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, this, this is a little financially safer route for, for me. It's very expensive to go chase the Monday qualifiers and, and do Q school and play mini tours all week. Um, but it's just a way for me to keep believing in myself and, and achieve my dreams of playing on tour. Mm -hmm.